Cleaning the surface of the substrate is essential before starting the application. Pour a small amount of 3M surface preparation system onto a lint-free cloth and wipe across the panel in a smooth action. For drying, use a separate lint-free cloth. You can also use a professional heat gun to remove final traces of solvents from the panel after drying. Cut a small strip of flat packaging cord. Place in the recess and fix it with tape to the side of the panel. The strip allows air to escape during application. Having first positioned the film on the panel, secure it with magnets and flip it over to remove the liner. Separate the liner from the film and tuck it under. Fold the film back and fix it to the top of the panel. Remove the magnets and then pull the liner out from under the film in one smooth action. This technique helps avoid trapping dust under the film. Start by fixing the film to the frame of the panel. Warm it at the flat area to remove wrinkles and to make it conformable. Apply the film on the flat area of the panel with firm and overlapping strokes by using the recommended 3M Gold Squeegee with a soft, thin sleeve. Fix the film across the U-shaped recess and continue the application. Use a constant high pressure during squeegeeing to avoid air being trapped between adhesive and car paint. Use a glove to fix the film to the edges of the recess across the panel. Take care that it is also properly fixed in the small channel at the edges. Wet your glove and then apply heat over the recess to achieve a surface temperature of about 50 degrees Celsius. Fix the film to the inside of the recess. The wet glove allows you to slide your finger on the surface with pressure and low friction. Stop after each 30 to 50 centimeters before continuing to heat and fix the film. Continue the application until you reach the packaging cord. Next, heat the film again and press it to the other side of the recess. Then apply pressure with your thumb to the middle part. Work again in lengths of about 30 to 50 centimeters. Heat the film, press it to the inside of the recess and then to the middle part. Continue step by step until you reach the packaging cord. This is still movable and should be pulled out a little. Heat the film and finish the application in the recess. Remove the packaging cord completely and finish the application.
Use the air release tool to remove trapped air bubbles. Warm the film, let it cool down and press it with your finger onto the substrate. Before post heating, check that there are no air bubbles remaining between the substrate and the film by reheating with the heat gun. Any air bubbles that are detected can be removed using the air release tool. Then press the film again to the substrate. Once checked for air bubbles, start post heating the film applied in the recess. Heat the film to a surface temperature of between 85 and 100 degrees Celsius and press it again to the recess. If you apply too much heat to the film in the recess, friction increases when pressing the film and wrinkles may occur. To remove, take a loose strip of film, position it over the wrinkles, apply pressure with your finger and lift it completely from the substrate. Then apply heat to repair. Let the film cool down, reapply heat and repeat until all wrinkles are removed. Now reapply the film and continue the application.